Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. So guys, before I make the video, I want to let you know I'm not going to be giving you any medical advice and I'm just going to be sharing with you guys the information that I have found and my opinions based on the science out there. Now, also before I begin, very important that you watch the whole video. I'm going to be saying things throughout this entire video all the way up till the very end that it's all in context. So you have to understand the context in order to understand the full spectrum of the information. Because we're going to be talking about something that people call oxyhydrogen, HHO, Brown's gas. The difference between this and ultimately whether it's hydrogen or oxygen. And it's very clear that you understand the whole thing because I'm making this video just to answer this question once and for all. Either what is better or what is worse or is there really any science behind it. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's just start first by talking about oxyhydrogen or Brown's gas. Guys, there's literally zero no evidence, not even one study to prove that this is something that's actually legitimate. In fact, let me just show you right here. It's a fringe science. Brown's gas is associated with various exaggerated claims, often called HHO. Guys, th this is a term that was popularized by fringe physicists. It's not real, okay? We're talking about two things, oxygen and hydrogen. And yes, these things can be paired together and used because they each have their benefit. But pairing together doesn't make them any better, okay? This is important. Look at this right here. They have a special apparatus that combines these both and makes a new form of water with new properties. Again, it's garbage, guys, based on fringe theory and blah, blah, blah. It, it's pseudoscientific claims, all right, guys? I want people to understand that it's garbage. It's a scam. It's not real. Too many pseudoscientific claims have been made about this. And people are being scammed. They're saying that it can be, you know, good for neutralizing, you know, radioactive waste and help plans to germinate. And, and actually, there, there might be a little bit to that, not because of what you're thinking. It has to do with hydrogen ions, which can affect the pH balance of any solution, which can explain why this form of water may actually help seeds to obtain their germinated states in some cases. That's all. But the way that it affects the human body is a whole different thing because the Japanese have already done extensive research on this. And also not to be confused, like, see, a lot of people, they were doing a lot of scams with these um, hydrogen things for getting extra fuel economy. And again, a lot of people got duped. A lot of people are getting their money taken from them. And right here, Popular Mechanics, really good uh, resource, reported the Brown's gas because they did some experiments on it, did not increase fuel economy in automobiles. Another scam. And guys... These scams have been happening for years. People have been fall, falling for them for years. And I just don't want it to give hydrogen a bad name because I'm about to show you the science of hydrogen. So ultimately, water fueled by these cars should not be confused by hydrogen fueled cars, guys. That's a whole other thing because hydrogen is amazing and it does appear that it can be used as a fuel. And that, that is a whole other thing. So now let's go into oxygen and the, the dangers of it. Because look, guys, if you're in an emergency situation, you got CV-19, you can't breathe, you're not getting proper saturation of oxygen in your blood. Yes, you can use oxygen to help you. And then you can also bring in the benefits of hydrogen to help you. Just because you're using those two things doesn't mean you're getting Brown's gas, this magical thing. No, you're getting the benefits of oxygen and you're getting the benefits of hydrogen, guys. That's the way it is. However, in order to get benefits of hydrogen, and I know this because I've been talking about it for years and I know the science behind it, you want to really use hydrogen regularly. Again, not medical advice. This is what I'm doing though based on the science. You use hydrogen regularly. You do not want to pair it with oxygen regularly. Why? Because it can be harmful. Oxygen toxicity, guys. You can't use it regularly. I mean, it literally tells you caused by excessive or inappropriate supplementation obviously of oxygen why is it excessive because you'd be using it every day guys what does it do can cause severe damage to the lungs and other organ systems high concentrations of oxygen over a long period of time i can't emphasize this enough you have to know the science behind oxygen you cannot use it regularly even if it's paired with hydrogen so right here can increase free radical formation leading to damaged membranes proteins and cell structures in the lungs guys again don't want to use it regularly too many people don't know what they're talking about and it's hurting a lot of people out there it actually saddens me and also makes me angry that people put dollar signs before they put humans. All right, so let's go to the next one. 
Let's look at hydrogen for a second. Benefits of hydrogen. I mean, these are just a few, you know, improves skin quality, reduces inflammation, lowers joint pain, you know, muscle fatigue, promotes, uh, you know, you get actually really good micro uh, health in the gut, blah, 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 release pain, slows overall aging. And there's so many things. Actually, if you look at that, that's hilarious. Google needs to fix that. Slows the overall aging process. They need to fix that right there. Uh, lowers muscle degeneration. I've actually had some of those experiences myself uh, as far as the benefits from it. So guys, again, don't be fooled by Brown's gas. Don't be fooled by HHO or oxyhydrogen. It's a fringe science. It's fake, guys. And the way that people are going about making it is even worse, and they're hurting people. If you want to be in a professional environment, they will pair oxygen with hydrogen when it's needed, when people can't breathe. If it's not needed, they won't do it because the true benefits are ultimately coming from hydrogen. And you can use hydrogen quite regularly and it's incredibly safe. It's not oxidizing the way that oxygen is. So it's something important that everybody understands how to use it. Otherwise, you're gonna do something dumb and you're gonna hurt yourself and that's not what we want here. We want people to get better not worse. And unfortunately, there's too many people out there that just really don't understand. They spread a lot of bad information. And it's actually very sad to me. And, and it's upsetting. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, as usual, guys, support the channel. If you guys want me to talk to anybody about this, any platform, any channel, you just let me know. And I do it for free. I'm not promoting anything. I just want this information to truly be out there. And if you guys want to support what I'm doing, because I've been talking about this stuff for years, and it's taken everybody so long to catch up. So ultimately, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button. And if you want me to talk to anybody, just let me know. Send me an email uh, at uprising144k at gmail, and I'll do whatever I can to help you guys out or to help people. So thanks again for watching, guys, and your support. I'll see you guys next time on the next one.